or wrong. So the first important thing is obviously um, that a lot of students immediately caught is, hey, I have addition. Um, for any time I'm doing addition or subtraction, I have to have the exact same radicand, right? I have to have the exact same base. So the first important thing is we want to do is try to simplify. Well, fortunately for us, the cube root of 4x cannot be simplified, right? I can't take the cube root of 4 nor the cube root of x. However, as we've already worked out in this class, you can take the cube root of 32, which um, I since I already showed in class, I will just show is going to be 2 cube root of 4x, right? Because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 4 is 32. So we already did this example in class. Um, plus the cube root of 4x. Now, when you guys look at this problem, remember, it's, jo it's going back to your rules when you have two radicands with the same base. We don't add inside of them, but we add their, basically their coefficients. This is basically like a um, 1 times the cube root of 4x. So therefore, the answer is going to be 3 cube root of 4x. If you guys remember, on the rules of exponents, I said the square root of x plus the square root of x is equal to 2 square root of x. I did not say it's equal to the square root of 2x. You adding them, and you keep the same radicand. So this one, the radicand remains the same, but now you're going to add those coefficients of the radicand. Okay? 